Welcome back to Open. The Batantes Community Center is a Bronx Works venue that is a magnet for a busy neighborhood, which includes three housing developments. The center renders various youth programs as well as adult programs with a vast draw to the neighborhood, and you are invited. Now here to tell us more about is the program director of the Batantes Community Center, Suzette walker Kamara. We welcome you to the show. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good to have you. So uh, Batantes is uh, doing a whole lot of stuff. Yes, we're highly involved in a lot of events that are coming up. Um, we have, on Saturday, we're having a big Easter, Easter egg hunt mm -hmm. in collaboration with Graffiti the Two Ministries. Um, we have our annual Razzle Dazzle fashion show that is coming up on April 24th. So that's exciting for the young people to showcase their talents. Um, and we have a lot of other things that are just coming up. So cultural events, meetings, everything. A lot of things happening. Now, you're a part of the network of community centers serving uh, NYCHA developments throughout the city. And so give us a little bit about what was the NYCHA initiative that actually led to Bronx Works becoming that community center provider. So NYCHA had 25 centers originally that were slated to close mm -hmm. um, due to funding. And so DYCD and NYCHA collaborated and got money from city council to fund um, these centers that were about to close. And therefore, Bronx Works was able to take on um, Batanzas Community Center, being that they already had services in the Mount Haven community. So when you talk about serving the community and serving, how would you how, talk about serving a little bit more in depth? Um, again, as you know, Bronx Works is a social service agency that provides a lot of services to everyone, from toddlers to seniors, they do services. Um, in extension to what they were doing, we have a lot of, a large children and youth department. So um, having the center was able to target that age group, which is from five through adults, um, and we service everyone through after school program, teen programs, um, adult programming, um, and events. Mm -hmm. When you talk about your area, your area deals a lot with the uh, asthma, obesity. Health is a major concern. Yes. And I know you guys are trying to tackle that with some programs. Uh, give us a little bit about the programs that you have and, and your effort to really tackle that. Because when you talk about the borough of the Bronx, we have a high obesity rate yes. and a high asthma rate. Uh, but a lot of community-based organizations, particularly yours, is uh, spot on in terms of dealing with that. Yes, we've been working um, a lot with different organizations just to try and get this under control as well. So, for instance, we've worked with Health People, who does diabetes workshop um, at the center. We've worked with... Um, Actually, now we just got a fund through New York um, Community Trust that is working towards um, enhancing or improving the quality of life mm -hmm. for um, the Mount Haven or the South Bronx residents. Um, we have a collaboration with um, Shape Up NYC that we're doing different um, fitness workshops um, such as PIO, which is Pilates and Yoga, um, Total Body Boot Camp, Dance Fitness, um, you know, so we're trying to do different things to, to engage the community. We also work with City Harvest, who provides us our after-school program with um, food and curriculum so we can teach the children about nutrition um, and things like that and also distribute mm -hmm. the, the food to them. And in that Mount Haven area, obviously, you're providing services, what has been the response to the community given the fact that you know, there are a lot of challenges out there, but you're an agency that's actually trying to tackle some of these? The community has been pretty receptive of um, everything that is happening at the center. I would like to say that the center is a hub for people to come out and if they want to find information, that they do come to the center and ask these questions. So it's been very receptive. And in collaboration with all these other sites and organizations, it makes it efficient. Mm -hmm. Talking about the budget, a lot of people talking about the budget these days. The mm -hmm. state budget has just gotten finished uh, getting passed to a, for, most, for the most part. But uh, you've also been selected to be a part of the participatory, participatory budgeting budget. process, uh, and that's done by City Council Speaker Melissa Mark Viverito. What exactly is that process for somebody who's just listening to it, and what does that mean for you? Okay, so the, uh, the participatory budget um, is a process where community residents um, kind of vote on different things that they would like or changes that they would like to see in their community. Um, our focus um, as far as Batanzas and the E. Robert Moore com um, Senior Community Center, um, we wanted to upgrade our computer lab to better service the community. Um, so we went with um, to all the meetings that they had, um, had 
our youth involved, making sure that the youth were able to say what it is that they really wanted, um, and just getting everybody involved. So it's it's been a long process, but we are almost at the end right now. Mm -hmm. So actually in April, um, we'll be doing votings um, to actually figure out if we could be a part of that. What have you been hearing from your youth? The youth definitely wants a change. They definitely need an upgrade with their computer lab. They also talk about the different things that they want in the community, um, such as um, renovating the park um, that's across the street, you know, making sure that there's better lightings in the, in the community. There are other NYCHA residents, too, or NYCHA programs that need the same thing, such as safety. Safety is a big um, issue that's, mm. that's happening there. So, you know, there's different things and again, it's a different, um, a bunch of different organizations that are in this as well. Last week we had Sharice Palomino here. Mm -hmm. She talked a little bit about the Youth Summit. She had one of our beautiful yeah. young people there. Uh, what was the outcome and what was the result there? The event went really, really well. Um, it, the highlight I would say is definitely having the youth um, doing the workshops, leading the workshops. They talked about healthy relationships. They talked about walking through the juvenile justice um, system. They did performances. Um, they really allowed us to, to understand their perspective. And I think that's, that's key. And yeah. important. Yeah, we, we were talking about that last week, that sometimes young people don't feel like they're heard, but they have a voice. They have voices. So when you talk about community partnerships, obviously this is a day of collaboration. And mm -hmm. with money flowing and money being short, uh, a lot of partnerships are necessary in order to make that. Uh, talk about a little bit about the, the partners that you work with and, you, and the things that you're able to accomplish. Um, our partners, and we have a long list of partners mm -hmm. that we work with. Um, we are... Definitely um, DYCD, which is Department of Youth and Community Development, um, NYCHA, hence we're in their facility, so definitely we mm -hmm. collaborate with them. Um, like I said, City Harvest, um, Shape Up NYC, um, Graffiti 2 Ministries, who usually host our annual Thanksgiving dinners. So we have a lot of events that surrounded by these people, and therefore the center draws everyone to come in. Now, if people want more information, what do they do? They can go on to BronxWorks, www.bronxworks.org, and we are also on Facebook, and we can find us at Betances, BronxWorks Betances on Facebook. And a lot of events happening in the month of April. You talked about a couple of yes. them. So if you go to the website, I'm sure that you'll be able to find out more about what is going on, and uh, you can be a healthy part of what's happening over at Betances. Thank you. Thank you.